All right. What if we set that book in here? Small enclosure with nine sides. There are three of these things that look kind of like music stands. Agent Thay, you think maybe you're supposed to put the pop-up books on the stands? Then you could open them up. True, but there are three stands, right? We don't have enough picture books. In other words, we need three. All right. Some more searching the shelves. Why is that funny? Why is Indian mathematics funny? Riemann hypothesis. What is there a What the? <laughs> Riemann hypothesis. What is there to hypothesize about with a Riemann? Isn't it pretty straightforward? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let's know there are many factors like the lubrication or lack thereof. <laughs> Snake my man, he beat me to <laughs> Oh god <laughs> Oh god <laughs> oh, How is that not the end of the day? <laughs> what the <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> I'm just in here, what the fuck is this book? And he... I had no idea that was coming. Oh no, that was a bad way of putting it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why are you excited? Oh <laughs> Wow. It's it it it's just out there now. There is, there's no, there's no, there's no resolution to that one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Let's continue. I would do, oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Ravel country to the sky. <laughs> oh my god. There's, there was no resolution to that one. It's not like this freaking June and June Pay where it just comes crashing down at the end. No, they just leave it there. Just like, yes, that is now a thing you have seen. <laughs> Another picture book. Oh shit, you little brat. <laughs> okay, we now have Tales of Old Japan. Got a magic wand on it. And more. So many books. This one's warm, but that... Oh, I want to do it again. Oh, hello. Oh, we need the key for that one. Okay. I can deal. Oh, it probably is related to that. Okay, so let's try going back up. Hello, what are you? Nothing. Okay, I saw everything there. I think I got everything there. Open here, find bulb. Energy theory? 
<laughs> oh god. I laughed so much. My stupid. I was doing okay and then that happened. <laughs> anyway. Shell saw science and technology. Oh, here we go. Teletemperation and telepathy. What the hell is this one about? Well, I know what telepathy is, but I've never heard of teletemperation. It refers to having the ability to travel through time. <laughs> I need to start a go funny. <laughs> this one says the golden rabbit and the moon on it. Does that mean it's about a rabbit that lives on the moon? That's a pretty cute, but what's the moon stuff about? It's talking about the Judas tree that is said to grow on the moon, according to Chinese legend. <laughs> I did no audacious to contract space actor government science from orbit. <laughs> Kitab <laughs> al-Azif. <clears throat> Man, they got some weird stuff here. I can't even pronounce this one. Who's that? Some famous guy? It's not a person's name. It's the name of a fictional book created by Abdul Hazrat. It's said to be one of the sources used to the creation of legendary Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon. Oh. <laughs> so these are all occult books and stuff. Change bodies with somebody? I guess I wouldn't mind switching bodies with my brother or Junpei too much, but I'd rather die than let's. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yay, more of this. <laughs> I don't even want to swap bodies with a little brat like. Hey, were you just imagining it? You were. You shut up. <laughs> well, he wasn't the only guy. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Why is this the one with so much innuendo? <laughs> is that the open here fine bulb? We knew that. <clears throat> this is thing to the other read those titles is giving me a headache. <laughs> yeah, it's a fancy technology stuff and I get along real well. <laughs> Keep on talking about that stuff and you're gonna put me to sleep. Black hole hypothesis. Gamma ray astrophysics. <laughs> I would do unspeakable though, oh god. <laughs> this bookshelf has an astronomy theme. Oh, get we another pop up book over here. Oriental history. Maybe this one's about China's 4,000 years of history or something. Chinese history and Oriental history aren't the same thing. It's called History of the Medieval Period. I already saw that one. Hellenism. Permian creatures. A little fancy for some kind of prehistoric critter. Ugh, I skipped that one. But here I can't imagine they had much need of perm. <laughs> do with this. Look, this one says cultural heritage of Rome. It's going to be serious inheritance tax. History of Buddhism. Hmm. Oh. I haven't checked this one, have I? Nope. That goes on from the same one. Hello. This one, it just looks like that picture book from earlier. The one with the pop-ups. There we finally are. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I had to go all over the place for that one. So you're using something to do at the same binding. Fundamentals of baseball. There's baseball on this one. Come on, Junpei. Let's see what's in it. Go ahead and here and say it's probably baseball stuff. Whoop! Head. Oh. <laughs> There's too much innuendo in this part. All of a sudden, we now have one that just says head. Functions of the human brain. This is a book about the nervous system. I'd love to ask you to read it, baby, but I don't think we have the time. I'm curious about it, too. There gotta be a reason why people connect with each other, you know? Alright. Down here. Small enclosure with the. Give me a sec.
Okay, thankfully not an actually emergency. Mom's cooking and just forgot to turn on the vent fan. So, smoke one. But we're all good. I had to go turn it off because it's out of her reach. Alright, small enclosure with nine sides. There are three of these things that look kind of like music stands. Yeah, but we tried putting the picture books on the stands. It's a little weird. Indeed it is. How about a better light bulb? Kind of some kind of really powerful light bulb earlier? Why don't you put it in one of the lights? <clears throat> so we need three light bulbs. Great! Talk of the other ones. Well, I haven't a dang. Can't look up. So we have open here, find a bulb. And we only have one bulb. Did I look at this before? Mind swap, yes. This area is huge, hello. An overview of photochemistry? <coughs> I think whoever wanted to set itself see the cover, not the spine. Let's look at it, okay? Hello. There's the bulb number two. Okay, how about this one? Communication and computer science. Automatic robotic assembly line techniques. Is the comic book? This boys are really like that stuff, huh? No, you're thinking of a different sort of robot. This book's talking about automated machinery that's used to build things like cars. What's that one? Foundations of DNA and genetic engineering. Alright, nothing there. Oh, this is one I didn't see. <coughs> Excuse me. This one says transition of extinct species. Need to hurry it up or we're going to end in the pages of a book like that. Explosion. Wrong kind of explosion. Roughly 500 million years ago, during what is known as the Cambrian period, researchers suggested that the variety of living organisms increased by an order of magnitude. Why that happened is, however, still something of a mystery. There are a number of theories. The book is most likely a collection of them. Alright. Evolutionary theory. I think I looked at everything else here. Nope, I already saw that one. Already looked there. one says cosmic inflation. Oh boy. Supersymmetric super symmetric string theory in 10 dimensional space time. Super string theory. It's a theory of where of reality where uh, how to explain. It says that all elements of the universe are governed by the vibrations and harmonics of tiny, tiny supersymmetric strings. That's confusing. This, an overview of con conformal field theory. Ah, well, it's a theory that posits an invariant quantum field where confirmation is not made. Oh, Jesus. My head is beginning to hurt from all these. <laughs> hmm. Okay. down below is our final one. Where the hell? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Galbrox Conjecture. Conjecture, what's about? Like magic or psychic stuff or something? It's about jewelry, isn't it? It may have an odd title, but it's actually a very respectable mathematics book. It deals with one of the unsolved problems of additive number theory. Uh, sorry, I said anything. Look, let's not get into this now. Okay, mathematics. Human hypothesis. Here we go. Here's the shelf I haven't looked at yet. Japanese one. No, I did look at this one. Shit. I don't have a password to the. Wait. Fuck me. Yes, I do have a password. Let's try that one. Six, three, two, four, one, five. Let's try that one to this little lock down here. Okay, yeah. They might give you the Oh, shut up, Junpei. Six, three, two. Four, one, five. Hello. I'm a dumb. And there's our light bulb. All right, now we can do this one. Three lights in here, I'm gonna change the bulbs. Sheldrake 5. Something projecting on the bottom. Letters, they seem familiar. Sheldrake 5. So, Sheldrake 5. Do I actually have to look at the damn thing? Apparently I do. Sheldrake 5? I think I saw the rest of this collection somewhere. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around here. Let's go take a look. Okay. Sheldrake. Hmm. Have you heard of him? Sheldrake, I mean. Yeah, Lotus told me about him. Ah, There's a hello bio again. Sheldrake. He has a he has rather, rather interesting, interesting theory. theory. Babylon 5's lesser known sister station. <laughs> Morphogenetic, morphogenetic fields, fields which, which relies, relies on the theory, on the theory of, of morphic, morphic resonance. resonance. Really? From Lotus, huh? Well, Clover also said something to me about that stuff. She did? Yeah, um, what was it? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. <sighs> that girl. I told her not to tell anyone. You did? Why? Well... Look, man, I didn't push it because we're in a hurry, but I'm kind of sick of this. How about you just tell me, okay? Tell you what? Don't give me that. About the experiment. Ugh. <sighs> Very well, fine. I'll tell you everything. Well, well, well. Now we'll actually get our explanations. But not here. Let's move to the top floor. I suppose I might as well start by telling you why I kept quiet, and why I made sure Clover did as well. To be honest, the explanation is quite simple. Zero told me not to. I had little choice. Exposition dumb incoming. Yes, it is. He didn't walk up and tell me, of course. He gave me a message engraved on a card. That's a braille card. It looks just like the one you showed us earlier. So you had two cards? No, only one. Huh? What do you mean? I thought that card just had some rules for the nonary game on it. Yes, it did. And those were the rules I read you. However, they were not the only thing on the card. There was something I didn't read. Well, perhaps I should say, 
there was something I couldn't read. And that was? Tell no one of the events that took place nine years ago. Tell, and I activate your sister's detonator. It's a threat on our lives. Oh. Well, well, well. Well, um... Well, what about Clover? Did she get a message from Zero Two? I don't believe she did. But doesn't it strike you as strange that Zero would shut my mouth, but not hers? Yeah. To be on the safe side, however, I told her it was best not to tell anyone. Still, apparently she told you. That girl. What's wrong with her telling me? I figured some stuff out with the thing she told me. Hmm. I mean, it looks like the whole activate her detonator thing was just a bluff. She's prancing around downstairs happy as a clam now that you're back. That's very true. I've decided I can trust you. Oh, good. Because to be on your bad side seems like it would be a very bad thing, considering you fucking took what you took in the safe ending. I've decided to tell you the truth. The chance that Santa is zero is very high. I feel I can assume Santa doesn't have the time to observe us at the moment. And at any rate, even if he were, I very much doubt he would kill us. Why? Clover told me about the four-leaf clover, about the words. If he knew about that, then he was in my group during the first experiment. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and also given his intimate knowledge of oh god. <laughs> oh dear lord, is that gonna haunt me for the rest of the playthrough? <laughs> he wouldn't kill us. No matter what the situation was. <sighs> hey, uh, Snake? Yes, I know. You want to know what happened during the experiment? Yeah. How much do you know? Clover told me about... 